Like I said in a previous video, I would like to do as many things within PHP Storm as I can. Let's open up our version control panel. You might see some idea files. It is not common practice to commit this to the repository. The idea files contain configurations for the IDE on a per project basis. We can ignore them in this tutorial. So let's update our git ignore file. All we need to do is add the .idea folder to our ignore file for git to ignore these files. Okay. So now let's go back to our version control. You can see we have our git ignore change and we still have our workspace.xml file. We can revert this for simplicity. You can do the same. So now we still have our git ignore, which is fine. We can commit this using control K. Wherever possible, I'm going to be using shortcuts. I'll let you know what they are the first time I use them. All we need to do is click commit. However, you will see this code analysis pop up. The reason you're seeing this is because the before commit actions are still checked. You don't need these, so let's untick them and click commit. Right, so now we have a clean working directory. Let's just get rid of this git ignore. Now let's open up our terminal and install Codeception. To install Codeception, run the composer command composer require Codeception forward slash Codeception dash dash dev. The reason we use the dash dash dev flag is because we want it to be saved as a dev dependency. To speed up the download process, I'll just skip ahead. Okay, so I've skipped ahead. If we take a look in our project view, you can see that our composer JSON has been updated. You can see on line 17 that Codeception has been added to our required dev section. This is what we wanted to see. Now let's take a look at our test folder within our project. You can see that we have some default Laravel stuff in here. So some tests, some configurations. We can get rid of this as we're not going to be using this at all. We are going to be moving to Codeception. So let's delete. And now let's initialize Codeception. Let's clear this up. To do so, first let's double check to see if we have Codeception installed. So vendor bin Codecept. Hit enter. And yes, we do. You can see we have a list of available commands. The one we're looking for is Bootstrap. Okay. So let's clear that up. Fender bin Codecept Bootstrap. So, yep, it looks like Codecept is installed for acceptance, functional, and unit testing. Let's take a look at our test directory. And you can see we have data, output, all these various files and folders that come with Codeception after initialization. So let's get rid of that. Now we can commit our changes again with Control K. Let's make sure that everything's being committed. Let's first type our message, install Codeception. Now, tick unversion files, click commit, and that's it. So we have now successfully installed and bootstrapped Codeception.